Hi guys, how are you? So I finally am creating this video. Um, I know that a lot of you have been asking me to share my journey um, and what better way than to share it with the video. Um, I actually wanted to wait until I had lost my first 100 pounds, which I did it this week. And I think that um, in celebration of that, I would be able to kind of just share my journey and kind of everything that I've been doing this far. Um, before I get into that, I just want to say thank you to everyone um, who has supported me during my journey. Um, I'm normally very private with certain things in my life, especially my weight. Um, and I think that the first thing that kind of made me feel good about sharing the start of my journey was thinking, you know, I love meeting new people and building new relationships and I love the people that make an impact in my life and I think that, you know, losing weight is something near and dear to me and I've always wanted to do it and I think I just needed more uh, motivation and more support in order to get me to where I wanted to be as far as you know overall health so um, having you know you guys there to support me with that has been absolutely amazing and super motivating and encouraging and I just want to thank you guys for you know following me on my journey and um, all of your messages and you know when you guys see me I, I, I feel so good you know um, I always put it out there that like I'm not like a professional like health coach or things like that I have literally built a, a plan and a strategy on how to lose weight for myself um, in doing that I was able to discover a lot of things that I didn't know when I was trying to lose weight before. So this journey started back in August. Prior to that, I had been trying to lose weight multiple times and I've tried so many different things. Um, I've tried shakes, I've tried like dietary supplements, I've tried Weight Watchers for a bit, um, I tried Jenny Craig. I think out of all of the things that I have done in the past to support me losing weight, I think Jenny Craig was the most impactful for me. I am a very big emotional eater. And I think for a lot of us without knowing, we all are emotional eaters in a way because anytime that we're celebrating something or we're going through something, we turn to food. So for a birthday celebration, for weddings, for anniversaries, you know, for all of these other things that we're celebrating, we incorporate food. We celebrate with food. And honestly, I'm Italian and Puerto Rican. We love food. We celebrate everything with food. And I love my mom's cooking. And I think that was just kind of like understanding the difference with indulging but not overindulging and I didn't know the difference and my relationship with food was not was not a good relationship and I would allow food to kind of control me and now where I am right now I'm controlling it so the first time I had got on Jenny was right before I had my son Giovanni and I had lost 47 pounds at that time now for some of you that don't know how Jenny Craig operates it's basically a program a weight loss program that um, supplies food that is already prepped for you now for me that was something that I needed I never had time to prep breakfast I would barely ever eat breakfast I wouldn't have time to you know make lunch so I would eat whatever was available whatever I can get my hands on which was normally not the best choices and then you know dinner we would go out or I would just like cook something but it would be nothing nutritious you know what I mean so Jenny Craig was able to kind of give me the structure that I needed in order for me to stay on track so I had lost 47 pounds it was amazing and then I ended up getting pregnant with Giovanni um, 
which was awesome because I was actually trying to get pregnant, but I wanted to lose some weight before I would do that. Those of you that might already know, and then maybe some of you don't, um, I had actually had Giovanni premature, um, and he only survived for 10 days. Uh, but that's another story, so I don't want to um, dive too much into that. But all in all, it did play a very big part in my life because going back to emotional eating, um, losing your child is one of the most devastating things any parent would have to go through. Um, and losing my baby was life-changing for me. It actually dove me in deeper into a very dark place that I didn't think was there, you know what I mean? So tying that into the way I was eating, some people when they're depressed, they don't eat at all. Me, when I'm depressed, I eat more. So then for a while, Giovanni actually would have been three years old this uh, in July, July 21st, he would have been three years old. So I had been suffering with you know emotional eating times 10 at this point. And well, at that time, for about almost three years, well, two years, because I've been on this journey for almost a year. So I was basically trying to find ways to lose weight because it was just getting out of control. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? And I do believe that if you're not, if your heart isn't in it and your soul isn't in it and you're not like motivated to do it, you will not do it. So. I had tried those shakes. I tried, you know, doing Weight Watchers and, but realistically, I couldn't, I couldn't do any of those things because, and none of them worked for me because I don't, I didn't understand uh, what a good relationship with food was. All in all, I do believe everything works. The, you know, I've done, I did shakes for a little bit. It worked for a little bit and then, you know, it kind of like, I kind of weaned off of it and, it didn't work for me anymore, but it's not so much that those things don't work. It just doesn't work for everyone. So I decided to go back on this journey, on the weight loss journey, back in August. And Eddie and I were both kind of interested in doing it together. So he had actually joined Jenny Craig with me. Now, the thing with Jenny, like everything else, because like I said, Jenny and Craig might not work for everybody, but it works for people like me. So Jenny started getting repetitive and I'm just like, all right, this food is like getting boring. What am I going to do? Um, also, it, it started to get really expensive because we're talking about like $200 a week on food. Um, and that's a lot for one person, you know what I mean? And although, yes, it was kind of like a kickstart for me, I knew that I can do it on my own. And I knew that I would be able to kind of like make my own food. So together with Eddie and my consultant, we talked about like what we can do during times where I didn't eat Jenny food and we kind of weaned ourselves off of it. So then we got, we were on Jenny for about a month and then we got off of it. And then I started um, just prepping food on my own. And I made it a consistent thing where I was consistently making breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Always. There was always food prepped. On top of that, like, I knew that if I did not have my food to bring to work, then that was going to kind of put me in a position where I would have to buy food. And where I work, there's not a lot of healthy selections. So it was either make the food at home and prep it and set yourself up for success for the next couple of days or kind of put myself in a predicament that I'm working so hard to not fall into. Uh, another thing that I did differently this time was I did not just run and go get a gym membership. Um, realistically, that's what we think, right? So we think, okay, I'm trying to lose weight. We're going to go and we're going to start eating better. And we're going to go on a diet and then we're going to go to the gym. We're going to get a gym membership and we're going to go to the gym. Now, the problem with that is mm, that does not work for everyone. And it definitely did not work for me. Uh, so this time around, I did not go get a gym membership when I first started my journey. I went a good 
about four months, I'm gonna say, before I decided to head back into the gym. Losing weight is something that is not easy for most people, let alone like trying to battle eating well and working out when you're trying to overcome these behaviors that have led you to this unhealthy place. So for me, and these are my thoughts, I said to myself, I'm not going to go and run into the gym because it's going to overwhelm me. Now, if you're someone who works fast like that and who can, you know, tackle all of these things at once, then that's amazing. And I think that you definitely need to have a certain kind of strength in order to be able to commit to both of those things because, you know, eating well and working out, they're, they're, they're two separate worlds that collide, you know. But I do believe that you need to really be able to get the science down for both individually, at least for people who need to process like me, you know, I need to understand, I need to get my eating down pat and then I'm like, okay, you know what, then I'll go and I'll start incorporating exercise. So it's not that I wasn't doing any exercise because um, as I stated in my last post, I walk to work every day. So I live about three miles away from my work and I have been walking to work since August. I have been walking to work every day. Rain, shine, snow, I have been walking to work. Walking, you know, to work for, for, the, for those 30, 40 minutes, it was great because it, it made me feel so great that I was doing something that I never liked to do. So if any of you know me, I like to be, I like to have that door to door service. I don't like to walk anywhere. I never like to walk anywhere. Um, I was very lazy. I was very lazy. I only lived five minutes away driving, you know, and I can drive to work, but I chose not to. And then I got back into the gym and I was going into the gym like hardcore. And I literally developed this love for the gym, like this passion to work out. And it was so motivating. And I've, I have so many great friends that are like into fitness and working out and they have helped me so much definitely super grateful for them i've also found other ways to increase my activity like buying a jump rope i haven't like i haven't jumped rope since i'm like maybe 12 13 years old you know like i can do that and i walk i still walk to work every day and so i don't feel as guilty because when i don't get into the gym i feel very guilty and i'm very hard on myself um this is this journey has not been easy at all it actually has been one of the most like exhilarating and like challenging uh, journeys ever I think that where I am right now I'm still very hard on myself and I'm not I'm not like sorry for it I let myself get to a place a really really negative place um, not all of it was my control in a way because like I said, I was battling that emotional piece where anytime I was feeling sad, I would go and I would eat. And you know, like I said, losing your baby is not something that you can, con you can't control your emotions at that time. You know what I mean? But I was able to catch myself and get the help that I needed in order for me to get myself out of it. And that's the most important thing. We're gonna go through things in life and sometimes, you know, life throws us a curveball and we just need to know how you know what to do next we need to think of what to do next it's not i remember living in a place where i was just feeling really sorry for myself we can't control what life brings us but we can control how we react to it so i changed my reactions to the things that were happening in my life um, losing my baby, I was angry, I was upset, I was mad, I was sad, I was so many things. This was just something that I just said, listen, I'm tired of it, I'm tired of being this weight, which I'm going to get into that because I'm going to share my weight in a moment, which is a huge deal for me. Um, I need to do something to get out of this because I'm not happy with the way I look, I'm not happy with the way I feel, you know, I'm just not happy and I have the chance to change that. 
but I have to change my mindset and I have to change my relationship with the food and that was my main priority. When I stepped on the scale, I literally like looked at Eddie and I'm just like, and this was in a Jenny consultation because we were just starting up again. And I looked at him and I'm like, what is going on right now? Like, I cannot believe that I am this weight right now. So when I stepped on that scale, I was 276.1 pounds. Um, and I remember the feeling like it was just an hour ago. Like I looked at Eddie and I looked at my consultant and I'm like, let me do it again, you know, because I couldn't believe that. Like, I'm just like, what? Like, what is that? Like, I'm almost 300 pounds and I sat back on the scale and it was 276.1. And at that moment, I'm like, absolutely not. You know, I went into panic mode, but that was my breaking point. 276 pounds at 5'1", that's crazy. You know what I mean? I am on a calorie-based lifestyle. So what that means is I consume a certain amount of calories per day and I do not go over that by any means necessary. I do not have cheat days. I will have a cheat meal, which I don't even like to call it a cheat meal. Um, I still have enjoyed all the things that I have been eating. Pizza and tacos are two of my favorite junk foods. And literally, like I could never give it up and I didn't want to give it up. But what Jenny Craig taught me was how to be able to have these foods in your lifestyle just by planning for it. If I was gonna have that slice of pizza, I knew that my day needed to be like, I needed to have like a clean day or I want, you know, the tacos. You know what I mean? So I would plan for it. Never did I give up the things that I love, um, which were those two things. Of course, I did eliminate the things that I knew there were no way around. So I continued to, you know, incorporate my favorite foods in my uh, weekly plan. I actually created a spreadsheet that I've sent to some of you, um, which pretty much includes my shopping list. In that spreadsheet, there's also like, a meal plan which gives you like breakfast lunch and dinner and the calories per meal it was great because i almost felt like it was kind of like my blueprint for my journey and like it kind of guided me through through this journey this far i also share you know that presentation with any of you that are interested some of you have been like very curious as far as like did you get surgery did you get the gastric sleeve or gastric bypass or whatever? Um, the answer is no. Um, although some of you don't believe me, the answer is no. Um, I thought about it. I really did think about it. Actually, one of my friends um, had kind of inspired me to inquire and I thought about it and I'm like, you know what, this might be something that can help me because I was at wit's end and I'm like I don't know what else to do you know um but no I didn't and I don't judge anyone who who ha has done the surgery and the same way I don't judge anyone who are who's on a specific diet keto diet shakes teas Weight Watchers, Jenny Crack, I don't judge anyone for it. You do what's gonna work for you. I believe that everything works as long as you're consistent. I'm very honest about my weight. I'm very honest about like where I am and you know how I got here. And I'm very honest in saying I'm not an expert. Well, I am, as of this morning, I weighed myself. I'm at 175 pounds. I feel amazing, but there's also a certain way I wanna look. You know what I mean? I have not been this thin in a really long time and it feels great to be able to go into a store and find my size and be able to not feel bitter that I'm not able to wear the things that I see other females wearing and I'm like, wow, I wish I can wear that and now I can wear it. So no surgery. Uh, this has been strictly hard work and dedication like every single day um, 
to eat well and to 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 be well and to look well you know it, it's, it's a process losing weight no matter how you do it it's a life-changing experience because you go through so many different emotions and you sometimes you just don't know how to channel and i feel like now i know where I am, what I'm doing, where I'm going, and I know there's so much more to learn. I do believe also that you need to surround yourself with people that are are kind of in the same groove as you. You need to surround yourself around people that are going to support your journey and support your vision for yourself. There's nothing worse than going out to dinner with someone who's going to say, just have the piece of cake. It's just one time. It's not just one time. I'm not just gonna have the piece of cake because I don't believe that I'm at a place right now that um, I can say, you know what? I'm gonna eat the cake and I'm gonna have the pizza and I'm gonna have the tacos all in one day and then tomorrow I'm gonna be back at it. No, it's a very fragile time in my life right now. The Italian feast is coming up in like a couple of weeks. I'm gonna plan for that because it's my favorite time of the year and I love to eat like all of the amazing Italian foods and you know, I'm with my family and all that, all those things. So that I do have to plan for. So I almost feel like you need to pick and choose. You cannot go into this journey thinking, you know what, I'm gonna eat what I want and however much of it that I want because it's what I want. You can't think like that. You have to understand and you have to treat yourself and you have to discipline yourself and you need to make yourself understand that there are certain things and certain behaviors that you no longer are going to tolerate. I appreciate you guys so much. You know what I mean? I really do love to share my journey. I never thought I would like to just kind of give you guys like updates on and I think that's it. And I, I just want to say that if you're whatever journey you're on, whether it's teas or it's shakes or it's Weight Watchers or it's Jenny or your own meal plan, just be consistent and remember that one bad day or one bad meal, if you know that's what you're going through, is not going to make the whole journey bad. Understanding that you're not going to get it all in one day, you're not going to get it all in one week, you're not going to get it all in one month. Heck, you might not even get it all in one year, you know what I mean? Um, but just keep your eye on the prize and look at where you're going and be consistent and listen to yourself and listen to your body and keep reminding yourself that you're one step closer. I remember years ago, you know, when I was working at this sports bar, I remember, you know, I was working with this bodybuilder and she was like crazy brolic and you know i'm like oh my gosh tell me it was one of those times where i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna lose weight and then she's like i'm like oh my gosh tell me like what are you doing what can i do because i want to lose weight i'm really gonna do this i'm really gonna do this and you know what she says to me she's like you're not gonna do this i said no i have to do it i'm getting married i have to do it she goes you're not gonna do it she's like you're not gonna do it and you're gonna walk down the aisle just the size that you are because you're not serious about it and I did I walked down the aisle overweight um, and I was happy but at the same time I was overweight and I didn't want to look like that but I always thought I'm not gonna lose weight I'm not I'm not gonna be this health freak I'm not gonna be this thin person I'm always gonna be overweight and I thought that to myself and now that I think about it and I'm like, shit, girl, you did it. You did that shit, you know, like you did it, but I did it because I put my mind to it. I did it because the truth is anything is possible if you're consistent. This is not something that was just temporary. I also have people that ask me that. So when are you going to be off this diet? And I'm just like, girl, I'm not on a diet. <laughs> this is my life. If you do have any questions, please call me or text me or private message me. Um, I love to talk about my journey and I'd love to talk about, you know, the tools that I've used, the apps that I've used, and that presentation I put together kind of gives you the scoop of how to plan for meals that are not the best and are not the healthiest. If you are interested in kind of like understanding my plan more and what I did to get here, um, just call me, text me, private message me.
thank you so much I love you guys so much and I will continue to share my progress with you guys and um, yeah that's it love you guys Mwah.